welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be doing a video called the latest travel news worldwide part three. So uh, let's jump right into it. Now I've got 10 fantastic, fabulous, exciting new facts according to the breakingtravelnews.com website so let's fire away with firstly kicking off with new speakers unveiled for future hospitality summit that's the latest travel events news a virtual conference being developed to explore big ideas and tackle the challenges facing the hospitality industry. The show is set to take place live from the capital of Saudi Arabia which is Riyadh excuse my pronunciation, later this month. So that's really good news that, um, again, that the travel and hospitality industry are exploring large ideas and tackling the challenges. Really good news. Um, number two is... Vago calls for universal testing to be relaunched in the tourism sector. That's the latest cruise news. Pierre Francesco Vago, MSC Cruise Executive Chairman, has addressed tourism ministers from the G2O Group of Nation presenting leading tourism brands from all the regions of the world so again um i think it's a really good idea um that everywhere in the world um is um, able to get the universal testing system So, um, again, I really hope it goes as well as possible, as well as the event next month in Saudi Arabia. Now, number three is Lidl to li lead Mandarin Oriental Ritz in Madrid. That's the latest hotel news. Greg Lidl will also take up a position as area vice president operations at mandarin oriental barcelona and mandarin oriental caravan or canovan excuse my pronunciation again um number four Baris residents debuted in the Maldives, which is another piece of hotel news. Baris has reopened its shores earlier this month, now offering guests with enchanted privacy and space as some other fabulous extras so that's excellent news well done to Boris residents um, in the Maldives and I really hope people uh, flock to the resort uh, because again um, it has enchanted privacy and extra space where, uh, which again with the current situation um, is again a lot better and there's also some fabulous extras as well number five mag warns 900 jobs could go following covid19 slump um 
it's the Manchester Airport Group which uh, consists of Manchester Airport, East Midlands Airport and London Stansted Airport all in the UK really really sad um, I really hope that, that, that the 900 jobs uh, don't go and I really hope um, that uh, hopefully the government um, will be able to offer these uh, airports more help or the airport group more help and the airlines and number six EasyJet expecting to report their first ever full year loss uh, again terrible news and um, I really hope um, next year is going to be a better year in regards to the travel in industry worldwide and I really hope uh, these airports will be able to re-employ staff as well as airlines etc all over the world um, number seven travel sector urges quick action from new task force so hopefully governments will in each country be able to get to the bottom and um, again set out a, a new task force and number eight UK government to establish task force organizations and operators global travel task force to seek a, a safe return to international travel which is again a really good thing um, because again lots of people um, I know are putting off travel only unless it's essential um, at the minute and I really hope next year it can get back up as soon as possible and number nine British Airways unfortunately waves farewell to the Boeing 747 jumbo jet um, I really hope um, in time they'll replace it uh, with a, a new better airline in the future and number 10 this is uh, good news sea trade virtual prepares for its october debut this month so i really hope for three uh, sea trade tr uh, cruises it goes as well as possible and hopefully um it'll encourage more people to travel next year and i would like to say to everybody thank you for watching please like and subscribe and share if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in my next travel video which is going to be tomorrow at 6 30 and it's going to be the latest travel news part four so everybody please take care if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it's the red and white subscribe button i upload at least three to five this week and um, it's going to be six times a week because i'm on holiday so also click the notification bells because as soon as i upload a video you'll receive the notification and everybody please stay safe and i love you all you all mean the world to me both viewers and subscribers and bye for now thank you bye